Greetings! Mandalay79 here! And welcome back to another deck profile video for... Card Fight Vanguard Deer Days! Alrighty, let's get started. Pressing the A button now. Loading game and proceeding. Here we are in the main menu, off to edit deck menu. And now in today's video, the deck profile I'm going to be making one for is a... Stoikaz for one's precious thing, Ro Roba, D Booster 6. And I'm going to be using this Stoikaz for one's precious thing, Ro Roba, D Booster 5 deck as the base of the deck I'm going to build. And okie dokie, let's begin selecting the deck, entering edit deck, and off we go! Here we are in the edit deck menu, and like I just mentioned before, the deck I'm building in today's deck profile video is a... Stoikaz, for one's precious thing, Ro Roa, deck made up of cards only available up until D Booster 6. Already, let's begin, so first let's go to the filter settings and to pack. Selecting only cards from D Booster 1, Genesis of the Five Greats, D Booster 2, A Brush of the Legends, D Booster 3, a Advance of Intertwined Stars, D Booster 4, Awakening of Chakrabarti, D Booster 5, Triumphant Return of Brave Heroes, Festival Collection 2021, Festival Collection 2022, Troll Pack number 1, and last but not least, D Booster 6, Blazing Dragon Reborn. Apply filter, and let's begin. First up, the deck's Grade 3 lineup. For the Grade 3s of this deck, we are playing... Right deck, Grade 3, for one's precious thing, Roll Roa. Skills, first skill, action as a vanguard, once per turn. Cost, Soul Blast 1. If the cost is paid, call up to 3 plant tokens to rear guard. Plant tokens are grade 0, 5000 power, critical 1, and have boost. Second skill, auto is a vanguard. When this unit is attacked, cost, retire one or more of your token units. If the cost is paid, this unit gets plus 5000 power until end of battle for each unit retired for this cost. Third skill, glitter. This card is a glitter that seeks the fire regulus. So for one's precious thing, Roroa, he's the main grade 3 to ride this deck. It skills the first skill. By paying the cost, you can superior call up to 3 plant tokens to serve as potential attackers or boosters, depending on what you want what you would use the tokens for. And the second skill, which is a defensive skill, when you are attacked by your opponent, uh, by paying the cost, you have the chance to use your tokens as potential shields to increase your vanguard's power, thus blocking your opponent's attacks with the increased shield power. And with that, we've got the great 3 for one special thing, Varroa. We have four in the deck, one in the right deck, three in the main deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the Great Three, Shieldfisher Dragon. Not gonna play this card anymore, but thanks for everything, Shieldfisher, goodbye. In your place, we are putting in the Great Three, Blue Artillery Dragon, Inlet Pulse Dragon. Skills, first skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Great Three or Greater Vanguard. If it was the first battle of this turn, and your vanguard is flagship dragon, flagbird dragon, cost, soul blast 1. If the cost is paid, stand this unit. Second skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of your turn, if the total number of attacks this turn is 4 or more, cost, put this unit into your soul and draw one card. So for Inlet Pulse Dragon, it's mainly a card to be, to be used to support Flag for a Dragon, but its secondary skill is a good card to let you use in pretty much any Stoic Condition deck. Skipping the first skill, going to second skill. As long as the conditions of the second skill are met, not only do you get to build up your soul for later Soul Blast, but you can also draw more cards. And okie dokie, the Great 3, Blue Artillery Dragon, Inlet Pulse Dragon. We are putting 3 into the deck. 3 is more than enough. Next up in the deck's Grade 3 lineup, we are using, how about this one, the Grade 3 set order. Resolute Pair of Eyes. Skills, first skill, order. After a set order is played, put it into your order zone. If you have a Vanguard of Roroa in its card name, place if it costs up, Counter Blast 1, and retire a rear guard. Second skill, auto. When this card is put into the order zone, search your deck for up to one card with Radalina in its card name. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. 
third skill, Continuous from the Order Zone. During your turn, if you have a Vanguard for Rowan, its card name, all of your back row token units gets plus 5,000 power. So for Resolute Pair of Eyes, it's an order card that supports the Roroa deck. If it's skill, the second skill, just by deploying this order card into your order zone, you can search your deck for Radalina to serve as a potential front row attacker. And the third skill, for as long as you've got your Pair of Eyes in the order zone, and as long as the conditions of the, set of the skill are met, all of your back row tokens gets plus 5,000 power, making your back row tokens a very powerful potential back row boosters. And affirmative, the Grade 3 set order, Resolute Pair of Eyes. We are putting 3 in the deck. 3 should be fine for now. And if that, we just about covered the deck's Grade 3 lineup. Next, let's get on with the Grade 2 lineup. For the Grade 2s of this deck, we are playing Right Deck, Grade 2, The World 3000 Years Later, Heroa. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is put in the Vanguard Circle, cost, retire one of your rear guards. If the cost is paid, call up to two plant tokens to rear guard. Plant tokens are grade 0, power 5000, critical 1, and have boost. Second skill, Glitter. This card is a glitter that seeks the fire regulus. So for the world 3000 years later, Roroa, he's the main grade 2 to ride this deck. With skill, the first skill, just by riding this card and paying the cost, you can then superior call two plant tokens to the rear guard to serve as potential front row attackers or back row boosters. And alrighty, the Great 2, the World 3000 Years Later Roroa. We have one in the deck, in the right deck, leave it that way. Next up, the Great 2, Blooming Petal Karyo Phyllis. Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, if your soul has no cards, Soul Charge 2. So for Karyophilius, a pretty good card to play in your Stoy K Nation decks. Her skill when called to the rear guard, and as long as the conditions of the skill are met, you can build up your soul for later soul blasts. And okie dokie, the great two blooming petal Karyophilius. We have three in the deck. Taking one out, only playing two. Next up for the deck's great two lineup, how about we put in what would be good? What would be good? There's so many different choices. How about we put in, hmm, this one, the Great 2, Sylvan Horn Beast Lioka. Skill, action as a rear guard. Cost, retire this unit. If the cost is paid, choose from your rear guards, and it gets plus 10,000 power until end of turn. So for Lioka, a pretty good card to play in your Stoy K Nation decks. It's skill, as long as you don't mind ret retreating this guy from your rear guard, you can give another rear guard on your field a huge power boost of plus 10,000 power. And alright, the great 2, Sylvan Horn Beast, Lioka. We are putting 3 into the deck. 3 is fine. Next up, the great 2, Drag Ritter Girl of Flame Blossoms, Radalina. Skills, first skill, action as a rear guard. If you do not have a Mamake token, cost, counter blast 1. If the cost is paid, call up to one Mamake token to rear guard. Second skill, Glitter, Glitter Roa. Active if your Vanguard is a Glitter with Roa in its card name. Auto as a rear guard. When this unit attacks, cost, Soul Blast 1. If the cost is paid, choose one of your tokens in the same column as this unit, and this unit gets the power of that unit until end of battle. Includes increased values. So for Radalina, a pretty good support card for your Roa decks with its skills the first skill. Just by calling Radalina to the rear guard and paying the cost, you can superior call a Mamake token to serve as a potential front row attacker or back row booster. And the second skill, when, whenever you attack your rear guard Radalina, as long as the conditions of the skill are met and you pay the cost, you can choose one of your tokens in the same column as Radalina and give all of its power to Radalina, making her a very powerful front row attacker to either pressure or finish off your opponents. And affirmative, the great two, Drag Ritter Girl of Flame Blossoms, Radalina. We have four in the deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the Great Two, Frot Pollen Raffles. Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on the rear guard, cost Counter Blast One. If the cost is paid, call up to two plant tokens to rear guard. Plant tokens are Great Zero, 5,000 power, one critical, and have boost. So for Raffles, a pretty good card to play in your Stoy Candation decks for skill. When called to the rear guard and paying the cost, you can then call two more plant tokens to serve as potential front row attackers or back row boosters. And confirm the great two, Prot Pollen Raffles. We have 
four in the deck. Taking one out, only playing three. Three is fine. And with that, I think we've just about covered the deck's great two lineup. Or are we? Nope, I think we can still add a few more great twos to this deck. Let's see, what other great twos would be a good addition to this deck? How about we put in... Ooh, how about this one? The great two! Delicate Beauty Maiden Candelaria. Skill, auto, rear, as a rear guard. At the end of your turn, cost, retire this unit. If the cost unpaid, call up to two plant tokens to rear guard. Plant tokens are grade zero, 5,000 power, one critical, and half boost. So for Candelaria, she's a pretty good card to play in your Stoic Nation decks at the end of your turn. As long as you don't mind retreating Candelaria from your own rear guard, you can call two plant tokens to cause the rear guard by the end of your turn to serve as potential front row attackers or back row boosters for your next turn, or to serve as fodder to use for Roroa's defensive skill. And okay, the great two, Delicate B Beauty Maiden Candelaria. We are putting three into the deck. Three is fine. And now we are finished with the deck's great two lineup. Now it's time to move on to the deck's great one lineup. For the great ones of this deck, we are playing right deck, great one, awakening from slumber, Roroa. Skills, first skill, auto. When this unit is placed by riding on Bioroid Youth Roa, call up to one plant token to your back row center rear guard. Plant tokens are great zero, 5,000 power, one critical, and half boost. Second skill, Glitter. This card is a Glitter that seeks the Fire Regulus. So for Awakening from Slumber Roroa, he's the main Great One to ride this deck. It's skill by riding it on top of the Great Zero Bioroid Youth Roroa. You can Superior Call one Plant Token to your back row center rear guard to serve as a booster for the back row. And alrighty, the Great One, Awakening from Slumber Roroa. We have one in the deck, in the right deck, leaving it that way. Next up. The Great One, Planet Prevent Dragon, Sentinel, Perfect Guard. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. Second skill, Auto. When this unit is put on the Guardian Circle, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. If your hand has two or more cards, choose a card from your hand and discard it. So for Planet Prevent Dragon, he's a perfect guard for the Stoy K Nation. Like any other perfect guard in the Card Fight Vanguard trading card game, it features the same skill and activation. When used to guard whip and discarding one card from your hand, you can block one enemy attack. But he also features an ability unique to all D standard format perfect guards. When used to guard whip while you have less than two cards in hand, you will not have to pay the usual discard one cost, making your planet prevent dragon a potential no cost perfect guard in desperate last resort situations. And affirmative, the great one planet prevent dragon. We have four in the deck, taking one out, only playing three. And in its place, for that one piece we took out, we are putting in this one, the Great One, Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude. Skills, first skill, Continuous Sentinel. You may only have up to four cards of Continuous Sentinel in a deck. Second skill, Continuous. You may only have one Elementaria Sanctitude in a deck. Third skill, Order. If your opponent's Vanguard has triple drive, this ability can be played without paying the cost. Place if it costs of, discard a card from your hand if your vanguard is grade 3 or less. If the cost unpaid, choose one of your units and it cannot be hit until end of battle. Remove this card. So for Elementaria Sanctitude, it's the Blitz Order version of the Perfect Guard. Like any other Perfect Guard in the Card Fight Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation. When played and discarding one card from your hand, you can block an enemy attack. But ideally, Elementaria Sanctitude is best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in Having vanguards of triple drive, for example, great fours, or vanguards who have their drive checks increased by skill or card effect against such opponents, your elementary sanctitude then can serve as a potential no cost perfect guard. And okie dokie, the great one, elementary sanctitude, we are putting one into the deck. There we go. Next up in the deck's great one lineup, let's see. We are putting in. Any other cards to put into the Great One lineup? Yep. How about this one? The Great One, Normal Order, Spiritual Body Condensation. Skill, Order, place if it costs of, Soul Blast 1. If the cost in page, choose a card with great equal to or less than your Vanguard from your drop, call to Rear Guard, and it gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn. So for Spiritual Body Condensation, a pretty good order card to play in your Stoic Nation decks if it's skill. By playing it and paying the cost, 
You can then superior call any rear guard from your drop zone whose grade is equal or less than your vanguard. And then the call card gets plus 5,000 power until end of turn, giving you a, a potential front row attacker, back row booster, or a rear guard whose skill you wish to take advantage of later in the game. And all right, the great one, normal order, spiritual body condensation. We are putting two into the deck, just crafting one more, create card, craft. There we go, having two in the stock now, putting one more in. We are playing two spiritual body condensations. Next up, the Great One, Conspiring Mutant Atmantis. We're not playing this card anymore, taking it out, but thank you for everything, Atmantis. Goodbye, taking out all four. Next up, the Great One, Adhesive Threat Mutant Actia Sticky. Same, we're not playing this card anymore, but thanks for everything, Actia Sticky. Goodbye, taking you out. And next up, the Great One, Stepping Calyx Salvia. And like the others, we're not playing her anymore, but thanks for everything you've done for me. Just saying goodbye for now. Goodbye. And with that, we just about finished the Dex Grade 1 lineup. Next, let's get on with the Grade 0 lineup. For the Grade Zeros of this deck, we are playing Grade 0, Ride Deck, Bioroid Youth, Roll Roa. Skill Auto. When this unit is rolled upon, if you went second, draw a card. So for Bioroid Youth Roa, a it's the starting unit of this deck, like any other starting unit in the D standard format. It features the same skill and activation. When written on top of, if you're the second to go in the game, draw one card. And confirm the Great Zero, Bioroid Youth, Roll Roa. We have one in the right deck, leaving it that way. And with that, we finished the deck's Great Zero lineup. Now it's time to get on with the deck's trigger lineup. For the triggers of this deck, we are playing. Great Zero, Source Dragon, DD, Blessings, Bless Favor, Over Trigger, Skill, Trigger, Additional Effect. Draw a card, choose from your units, and it gets plus one critical until end of turn. All of your front row units gets plus 10,000 power. If your damage zone has the same number of cards as your opponents or more, choose a card from your damage zone and heal it. So for Bless Favor, he's the Over Trigger for the Stoy K Nation. Like any other Over Trigger in the Card Fight Vanguard Training Card game, it features the same skill and activation. When revealed during a drive check or damage check, you get 100 million power and draw one card. But he also features an ability that's unique to him alone. When revealed during a drive check on your turn, you can you activate all the effects of drawing a card, give one of your units plus one critical, your entire front row, vanguard and rearguard included, plus 10,000 power, and as long as the conditions of the skill are met, you can also heal one damage. So for Bless Favor, he's pretty much all of the D standard format triggers put into one card, Draw trigger, critical trigger, front trigger, and heal trigger all in one. And okie dokie, the great zero, source dragon DD blessings, bless favor, over trigger. We have one in the deck, leave it that way. Next up, the great zero, aspiring maiden, Alana, critical trigger, skill, auto as a rear guard. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. Cost, put this unit into your soul. If the cost is paid, choose from your units, and it gets plus 2,000 power until end of turn. So for Alana, she's a powerful critical trigger to play in your Stoy K Nation decks with her skill. After boosting attack, regardless if the attack is or not, as long as you don't mind moving Alana from your rear guard into your soul, not only do you get to build up your soul for later soul blasting, but you can also give the remaining attackers in your field, vanguard or rear guard, a little extra power to work with. And all right then, the Great Zero, Aspiring Maiden, Alana, Critical Trigger. We are we having four in the deck, leave it that way. Next up, the Great Zero, Frenzy Eris, Front Trigger, Skill, Continuous as a Guardian. If your opponent's Vanguard is Grade 3 or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So for Frenzy Eris, a powerful Front Trigger to play in your Stoy K Nation decks with her skill, when used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, your Frenzy Eris then can serve as a potential 20,000 point shield all their own. So for the Great Zero, Frenzy Eris, front trigger, we have three in the deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the Great Zero, Serene Maiden Lina, draw trigger, skill, continuous as a guardian. If your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater, this unit gets plus 5,000 shield. So for Lina, a powerful draw trigger to play in your Stoy K Nation decks with her skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, your Lina then can serve as a potential 10,000 point shield on her own. And affirmative, the Great Zero, Serene Maiden, Lina, draw trigger. We have four in the deck, leaving it that way. Next up, the Great Zero, 
Zysafolia Fairy Asher Heal Trigger Skill Auto. When this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle, if your opponent's attacking unit has attacked two or more times this turn, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. Active if this battle is its second attack this turn or more. So for Asher, a powerful shield trigger to play in your Stoic K Nation decks with skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, your Asher then can serve as a potential 25,000 point shield on his own. Ideally, Asher is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in restanding and attacking multiple times to their units, either their vanguard or rear guard. And confirm the Great Zero, Zysapolia Fairy, Asher, Heal Trigger. We have two in the deck, leave it that way. Next up, the Great Zero, Sylvan Horn Beast, Zlatarog, Heal Trigger. Not playing him anymore, but thank you for everything. Goodbye. In your place, we are putting in... How about this one? The Great Zero, Alchemic Hedgehog, Heal Trigger, Skill Auto. When this unit is put in the Guardian Circle, if the attacking unit's critical is 2 or greater, and its critical is increased by a non-trigger effect ability, or its original critical is 2 or greater, this unit gets plus 15,000 shield until end of battle. So for Alchemic Hedgehog, another powerful heal trigger to play in your Stoy K Nation decks with skill. When used to guard with while the conditions of the skill are met, you can turn your Alchemic Hedgehog into a potential 25,000 point shield on his own. Ideally, Alchemic Hedgehog is a counter heal best played against opponents who play decks that specialize in increasing their attacking unit's critical, vanguard, rear guard by skill or card effect. And okay, the Great Zero, Alchemic Hedgehog, Heal Trigger. We are putting two into the deck. Two is fine. And if that, the deck has been built. Card effects explained. Let's get to saving the deck, overwrite deck being built. Yes. And for the cards in this deck, we are playing three, great three, Blue Artillery Dragon, Inlet Pulse Dragon. Four, Great Three, for one's precious thing, Roroa. Three, Great Three, Resolute Pair of Eyes. Two, Great Three, Great Two, Blooming Petal, Karyo Phyllis. Three, Great Two, Sylvan Horn Beast, Leoka. Four, Great Two, Drag Ritter Girl of Flame Blossoms, Radelina. Three, Great Two, Trot Pollen, Raffles. One, Great Two, The World 3000 Years Later, Roroa. Three, Great Two, Delicate Beauty Maiden, Candelaria. Three, Great One, Plan Prevent Dragon. One, Great One, Elementaria Sanctitude. 2, Great 1, Spiritual Body Condensation. 1, Great 1, Awakening from Slumber, Roroa. And 1, Great 0, Fireroid Youth, Roroa. Starting unit. And for the triggers in this deck, we are playing 1, Over Trigger, Bless Favor. 4, Critical Triggers. 3 front triggers, 4 draw triggers, and 4 heal triggers. And of that, the deck has been built, card effects explained, now it's time to test out the deck. So let's leave the edit deck menu, returning to main menu, Don't off to the fight me. menu, and to Don't CPU fight. fight, selecting the opponent. Don't I'm gonna test it that out on, I'm first gonna select the deck. The Stoikeas, for one's precious thing, Roa, D Booster 6 deck. The deck I just built over here, and selecting the deck, entering the CPU fight, choosing my opponent. I'm gonna test it out on Dark States, Masaru Kita, normal difficulty. And the battle begins! Let's get started! And here we are in the fight. We're gonna decide who goes first. So, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Paper to rock, I win going first. Drawing our starting hands, I got a Persona Ride, a Leoka, a Critical, a Radalina, and a Candelaria. Hmm, not a bad starting hand. Holding on to all normal units, just gonna redraw triggers. Redraw, a Raffles, not bad. Now I'm going first, I draw. I ride from the right deck, Awakening from Slumber, Roroa. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding 
One draw trigger, Lina, discard, and nice. ride. Skill of my Vanguard, Maroa, I get the pure call. One plant token to the back row center rearguard circle. And call. That ought to do it for my turn. That's the end of my turn. Now it's my opponent's turn. My opponent rides the Great One, Deep Sonicer. Skill of his starting unit, he draws a card. Sonicer skill, he soul charges a... Great 2, Selfish Engraver. Battle phase, Vanguard Vanguard, 8k. No guard, gonna take it. Drive check. Draw trigger, ah, uh, lucky. He draws more cards, powers up. So one damage, here it comes. Ow! Damage check. No trigger, Roroa. Ah, uh, lost the Persona right, not good. And my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw, perfect guard, good draw. I ride from the right deck, the world 3,000 years later, Roroa. For the right deck cost, I'm discarding. Hmm, so many choices. I think I'm gonna discard Raffless since I can already use Candelaria to call more tokens. So, discarding Raffless and ride the world 3,000 years later, Roroa. Roroa skill. Retire one plant token and call two in its place. Here we go. Calling one and two. One and two. Call. Next, I call to the rear guard. One Radalina. Call. Radalina skill. Counter blast one. Counter blast. Superior call one Mamake token. Here we go. One over here. Next, I'm going to. Hmm. Move. Let's see, what should I choose? I'm gonna um, first activate my Momoke token skill, retiring the two plant tokens, one and two. Power up Momoke token by 5,000 for each one. There we go. Total 15,000. Next, I'm gonna call Candelaria to the rear guard. Call! And, hmm, that should be enough. Yep, that should be enough. On to battle phase. First up, Vanguard to Vanguard, 10k. The attack goes through. Twin drive check. No trigger, another perfect guard, not a bad draw. And slash. One damage to the opponent. No trigger, safe. Next up, my rear guard Candelaria attacks the Vanguard, 10k to 8k. He guards with a draw trigger, 13k, attack is blocked. But no worries. Next up, Mamake token attacks the Vanguard, 15k. He guards with a heal trigger, 23k, attack blocked. Two triggers out of his deck, good to know. Now, one more attack. Radalina attacks the Vanguard. Skill of Radalina, I'm gonna Soul Blast one. Here we go. Soul Blast and, and obtain all of the Monkey Token's power, 25k. The attack goes through, slash. One more damage, damage check. No trigger, safe. And that's the end of my turn, activating my Candelaria skill, I ret retreat her, and in her place, call two plant tokens. Here we go, calling one and two. One and two, call. Now my opponent's turn, he rides. The great two, Electro Spartan. He's calling Kigra and Kigra. Right side Kigra attacks the Vanguard. No guard, gonna take it. Ow! Damage check. Yes, critical trigger. I'm going to give all effects to Radalina. Critical added and power added. Looking good there. Next, here comes his Vanguard, 10k. No guard, gonna take it. Drive check. No trigger, another Spartan, so one damage. Here it comes. Ow! Damage check. No trigger. Raffles, so... One more attack from his rear guard, Kigra. Hmm. I... Don't guard, take the attack. Ow! Damage check. Yes! Draw trigger, just what I needed! Power to the vanguard, draw a card. I drew... No, I drew my over trigger, come on! So unlucky! Uh, end of my opponent's turn, my turn. I drew another Lioka. I ride from the right deck for one precious thing, Roroa. Ah, uh, so unlucky to lose my over trigger by the time I ride to grade 3. Fine, whatever. I have two copies of Lyoka, discarding the extra copy, and ride! Next up, I'm gonna... Activate Mocky Token skill. Retire two plant tokens. Retire one and two. Gaining 10,000 power. 
Next, I call Lioka to the rear guard. Call! Activate Lioka's skill, self-retreat. Give 10,000 power to one rear guard. I give it all to Mamake Tokens. Now I'm gonna activate my Roa skill, Soul Blast 1. Here we go! Soul Blast! Superior call up to three plant tokens. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Call! And that ought to do it. Let's get on to the battle phase. First up, boosted by plant token. My Vanguard attacks the Vanguard. 18k. The tackle's through. Twin drive. First check. No trigger. And second check. Come on. Yes! Front trigger! Power to the entire front row! Looking good there. One damage to the opponent. Slash! Damage check. Ah! Critical trigger. So lucky. He powers up his Vanguard. And now, boosted by Plant Token. Plant Token attacks the Kigra on the right. 20k to 10k. Will it go through? It goes through! And... Boom! One less rear guard to worry about. Now, Mamake Token attacks the Vanguard. 25k. He tackles through. And... Boom! One damage. Damage check. Ah, over trigger, come on, so lucky. Ah, now I can't attack the vanguard. Fine, whatever. Radelina attacks the rear guard Kibra. Not activating her skill. 20k to rear guard. The attack goes through. Slash. One less rear guard to worry about. That's the end of my turn. My opponent's turn. My opponent rides the Great Three. Master of Gravity, Barrel Magnus. Here comes Spartan skill. He soul charges. A great one, all right. He calls the great one assistant and Spartan. Spartan skill. Soul charging critical and perfect guard. He calls a Curtis skill. Soul charging perfect guard and a great one. Rear guard to Vanguard. That's a total of 21k skill. Another po power boost of 31k. Not gonna activate skill. I'm gonna. Hmm. No guard, gonna take it. No guard. Here it comes, one damage. Ow! Damage, damage check. Critical trigger, yes! I give all effects to Radalina. Power up at Radalina. And she's safe. Next up, here comes the Vanguard. Baromancer's skill, give 10 cards in soul. He counterblasts one and draws a card and gives power and critical to his Vanguard. So, here it is, then I'm gonna... Should I... Nope, I'm gonna not activate Aurora's skill. Instead, I perfect guard from my hand, Planet Prevent Dragon. For the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding... One Prot Pollen Raffles. Discard and perfect guard activated. To in drive for ship. Ah, critical trigger, lucky. He gives all effects to his Spartan. And next up, second check. Perfect guard, not good. So the attack is blocked. And... Kachink, safe. Next up, here comes... Spartan's Vanguard, 20k. Not activating Rural skill, I guard with the front trigger, Frenzy Eris. Guard, 28k. 33k, attack blocked. And... Kachink, safe. And if my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. I Persona Ride for one precious thing, Maroa! Here we go! Persona Ride! Power up, draw a card. Ah, heal trigger, not good, come on! Fine, I'm activating Mamake Token skill. Retire all three plant tokens. And power up by 15,000 power. Looking good. And now I'm gonna activate my Maroa skill. Soul Blast 1, here we go! And... Soul Blast! Superior call up to 3 flat tokens! 1, 2, and 3! 1, 2, and 3! Call! Power up! And that ought to do it! On to the battle phase! Boosted by plant token, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard! 28k! The attack goes through! Twins drive, first check! Yeah! Heal trigger, just what I needed! I heal one point of damage, healing, power to plant token on the right. Heal and power up. And the second check. 
No trigger, another Rattalina. Not too bad. So one damage to the opponent. Slash, damage check. No trigger, safe. Now, plant token on the right. Hold on, nope. Mamake token, unboosted, attacks the Vanguard, 20k. He guards with a critical, 28k. The attack is blocked, but now here comes Plant Token boost Plant Token, attacking the Vanguard, 30k. The attack goes through, and boom! One more damage to the opponent. Damage check. Ah, heal trigger. He can heal. Ah, so lucky. Come on. Fine then. Radlina and boost, not activating skill, attacking Curtis, 20k, not activating skill. He tackles through. Slash! One less rear guard to worry about. That's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. He's persona riding. Barrel Madness. Ah, it's not good. He powers up some more. Activating order card, supernatural extraction. He soul charges three more cards. Ah, he keeps building up his soul. All normal units and Rear guard to Vanguard. Assistant. Alright then. Hmm. I'm just gonna let the first attack go through. No guard. No guard. <laughs> Ow! Damage. Damage check. No trigger. Order card. Now here comes the Vanguard. Skill activated. He's going to power up his Vanguard and plus critical as well. Total 33k, two criticals. I can't take any risks here, so not activating roll one skill. Got a perfect guard with plan prevent. Perfect guard! For the perfect guard cost, I'm discarding. One Rattalina! Yep, one Rattalina, discard, and perfect guard activated. For check. Ah, critical again, so lucky! How does he keep getting good triggers? Critical and power to his Spartan. And second check. No trigger, great three, safe, so the attack is blocked. And ka -ching, safe. Now here comes Spartan of 30k, so not gonna activate roll of skill, I guard with. Two heal triggers, guard, 33k. Attack blocked. And ka -ching, safe. Huh, that was a close one. And if my opponent's turn, my turn. Stand and draw. Perfect guard, not bad. Go into main phase. I activate my market token skill. Retiring all three plat tokens. Another 15k to my rear guard for Monkey token. Power up. Next, I'm going to activate my, my Roroa skill. Soul Blast one. Here we go. Soul Blast. Superior call up to three plat tokens. This time, I'm just going to call two. One and two, one and two, call! Next, I call to the rear guard, blooming pedal, Karyo Phileas, call! Karyo Phileas' skill, soul charge two, here we go, soul charge. One and two, a great two in an order card, and that ought to do it. Now go to the battle phase. Boosted by plant token, my vanguard attacks the vanguard, 18k. He guards for critical, 28k, intercepts, 33k, two to pass. Twin drive, first check. Yes, critical trigger, just what I needed. I give the critical to my Radalina and power to Mamake token. Power up, critical up. There we go, and second check. No trigger, persona ride. And the attack fails, now. Boosted by Plant Token, my Karyo Phileas attacks the Vanguard, 14k! The attack goes through, and... Boom! One damage! Damage check! No trigger, safe! Now, Mamake Token attacks the Vanguard, 30k! Double guard, 43k, the attack is blocked, this is not good. He still has 5 cards in hand, so... My Radalina attacks the Vanguard, skill activated! Soul Blast 1, here we go! Soul Blast! And power up! With Mamake Token's power, 40k, 2 crits! Perfect Guard, I knew that was coming. For the Perfect Guard cost, he's discarding one of his Curtises, alright. The attack fails, and that's the end of my turn, my opponent's turn. Ah, another Persona Ride, so lucky! He powers up some more, draws a card, and go into battle phase. Vanguard to Vanguard. 
Ferromancer's skill, skill again, plusing power and critical. He really gets all the good cards he needs, so... 33k two crits. I'm gonna perfect guard with. Not activating rule of skill, perfect guard with. My plan to prevent dragon, perfect guard activated. For the discard cost, I'm discarding. Hmm. Gotta hold on to the persona ride and the over trigger, so discarding the critical trigger, Alana, discard. Perfect guard activated. Twin drive, first check. No trigger, barrel madness. Ah, another persona ride. Come on, second check. No trigger, great one, safe. So, the attack is blocked. ka -ching. And now, one more attack from the rear guard, 18k. I'm not gonna activate Rolla skill, I'm instead gonna guard with the over trigger, bless favor, guard. 63k, attack blocked. And, ka -ching. safe. <sighs> that was a close one. And my opponent's turn, my turn, stand and draw. Ah, I drew a draw trigger, come on. Fine, whatever, gonna Persona Ride the, for once for Stingroa. Here we go! Persona Ride! Maroa! Draw a card. I drew Lioka, not bad. Next, I'm gonna activate Mamake Token Skill. I'm going to retire all three of my rear guards. And power up Mamake Token by 15k! Next, I call Lioka to the rear guard. Call! Lioka's skill, self retreat. And. Giving 10,000 power to a rear guard, I give it all to my Mamake token. Now I'm activating Roroa's skill, Soul Blasting 1. Here we go! Soul Blast! Superior call up to 3 plant tokens. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, and 3. Call! And that ought to do it. Let's get on to the battle phase. First up, boosted by plant token, my Vanguard attacks the Vanguard, 28k. He double guards, 43k, 2 to pass, twin drive, first check. No trigger, and second check. No trigger, the attack fails, not good. Now boosted by plant token, plant token attacks the Vanguard, 20k. The attack goes through, and boom! Damage check. No trigger, six damage, I win. Huh, that was a really rough fight. Despite some really good luck from my opponent's side, and the fact that I didn't get to draw all the new cards, I still got to use this deck pretty okay, I guess. So, I got win, attack 40,000 more power, guard 60,000 more shield, perfect guard three more times. Opponent drew an over trigger, did a persona right, 10 turns passed. Did a superior call and retired 5 or more opposing units. I got 2550 VP, total 60,425 VP. Pressing A to go next. Leaving the fight and returning to the fight menu. Leaving the fight menu, heading back to main menu, and going off to the edit deck menu. And with that, the deck has been built, card effects explained, and I just finished testing the deck out in front of you. So, first I want to say is. Thank you to the viewers for watching today's video and to please stay tuned for more videos I plan to upload again in the near future. I also hope you all show your support by liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my videos and channel. And with that I say, goodbye and...